What is going on, everybody? It's Paul here again. I got something new for y'all. Uh, it's the. Um, it's actually new for 2016, even though it's 2015 right now. As as I'm taping this video. Anyway, uh, new for 2016 is we have the new Pioneer DEH-X2800 UI. Uh, they just now come out with these. These are brand new. Um, even though the year is still 2015, these are new. The new models. Um, anyway, it has a one-year warranty. The average price is probably going to be around $99.95. It's got USB, it's got you know, you know, uh, iPod controls, smartphone for Androids. Uh, it also has a new function called uh, USB Auto Switch, which means it, it lets the radio allows the user to choose whether it's going to listen to music or charge, you know, through the USB. Uh, it's also got an aux input. Comes with a remote. It has a one-year warranty. I don't know if I said that or not. Anyway. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and open up the box. Let's see what's on the inside, and then we will get it mounted up, go from the back side, and go from there. All right, going to open the box here. Um, it was actually the first time I opened the box, so uh, let's see. This is brand new radio. We've got the remote. Nice little baggie there. Here comes the the wiring harness. And here we also got a mounting screws and a CD removal keys. For what? Well, radio removal keys, not not CD removal keys, but it's keys for the radio. Uh, we also have the instruction manual. Let's see what else in here. Yep, there's something in here we can't get to it so I'll go ahead and pull out the radio. Yep. <laughs> it's stuck in there. There we go. Anyway, nothing else in the box. Uh, here is the, the piece that was stuck in there was the warranty card. Um, Kind of readable on it and tells you about everything about the radios, warranty, and everything. Uh, so we got some nice styrofoam. Uh, so what else we got here? It comes with a nice little baggie. Set this off to the side. And uh, there's the cage and everything. Comes with the radio. Nice little card in case it's going on display or something. You just take that off. No big deal. Anyway, there's the radio. Let's go ahead and get it uh, mounted up, and um, and we'll show you what the What's all going on back here? And then we'll power it up, and we'll see what's going on on, on the on the front. All right, we get it all turned around backwards here. And as usual, we'll start from this side and work way to the right side. And the first thing we see right here is the antenna. Uh, this is what you plug in, you know, catch it FM stations and stuff. And, uh, and if you have a newer vehicle, you might need an antenna adapter uh, in order to, you know, to for it to plug into. Uh, here's the, the power plug section socket with the 10 amp fuse. Got a little heat sink right here. And uh, looks like we got a rear slash subwoofer subwoofer pre out. That's just, just two bolts, and uh, that way you can play some bass, uh, like a, like a monoblock amp, or if you want to, you know, put a, a two channel amp on there for some highs or something like that. Uh, you got some RC outputs for that. Anyway, that's pretty much it. It's, you know, pretty basic back there, but it's still got all your your basic needs and stuff. Anyway, let's go get it turned around, powered up, and. Uh, I'll show you what's on the inside. All right, first thing is this is just do a setup. So I'll hit yes. I was using the volume button, which is like a multifunction thing there. Uh, you can also turn the volume. This is on setup. You can change whatever clock. Let's say let's say it was 4:30, which uh, it could be. I'm not sure. I'll just rotate it. Well, what it says 4:15. Quick yes. Uh, let's see. Start demo. Which I need. I need to turn that off. Anyway, before we go any further, uh, it has a nice flat black trim ring, which is pretty cool. Uh, nice glossy uh, face here with the door that covers the USB and an aux input. Uh, it's got your preset buttons here, one through six. Uh, here's your uh, track setting buttons, and uh, they uh, move the source and other buttons to the right side of the volume, getting closer to the, to the driver, I suppose, which is actually pretty cool. Nice little uh, set up there, nice glossy buzz. I like the the red for where, where the iPod is. And uh, if you notice around uh, around the volume knob, there's actually a little red ring that highlights it as well. Here's your uh, uh, eject key CD uh, slot right here. Um, of course, it's your, your display with uh, 10 levels of uh, 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 dimming. I got your source, got your search, which it doesn't do anything because I'm in the on, actually on the standby, I believe. iPod button, you got display button, uh, the backup menu button, of course tracking your presets. 
And uh, so let me switch over to tuner radio. And uh, let me find a station here. Okay. All right, I'm on a station. It also has a RDS, which is radio data system or satellite or well, not a satellite, but a or it takes text from the radio station and puts it on your screen. As you can see, it looks like we're listening to, uh, you know, Justin Bieber. <laughs> anyway, um, that's pretty much the face of it. It looks real nice. It's like, I, I like the way they, you know, you know, captured all the buttons in the one little small area. Of course, if you have big fingers like mine, you may accidentally hit other buttons, but not too bad. Anyway, uh, let's see, while we're in the... Uh, the radio state of part of it here. Uh, let's say if you're on a station, let's say this station here, and you like it, I believe if you press and hold one of the buttons, and now set to that station. Let's say five, yeah, so now you just press and hold the button there, and it will save that station on that number, whichever one you selected. Um, let's see if you get source, we got, of course, radio. Auxiliary uh, back to radio again because there's nothing plugged into the USB or the CD player. So, currently, the only thing is aux input and uh, source. Of course, there's nothing plugged into auxiliary, but it recognizes it as a source there. Uh, let's see, if we hit the magnifying glass, nothing happens on the tuner section. If we hit display, get clock, frequency, come back to clock again. So, whatever. You want to see if you, if you want to see just the frequency, it'll show that. If you want to show the clock, it shows the time. So if you make a change with anything, it should go back to the time. Yes, there we go. All right, that's pretty much those settings. Uh, let's go ahead and um, go into the main uh, menu here, I believe. Uh, you press the button in. Yeah, menu. Uh, so we got function, audio, illumination, system, mix tracks, and back to function again. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go into system and disable uh, the demo mode because it may interfere with uh, uh, me talking to you and, and, and showing you stuff. So anyway, I turned it off, and that should be the first thing you do when you... Uh, get your new radio because that will mess with you. You bring all your settings, it goes to demo mode and erases everything. Alright, uh, the first menu option was function and since we're on the radio, I think it has radio functions. Best station memory, uh, local, offer on, seek. Uh, let's see, there's, there's seek manual, um, preset channels, and back to manual again. So if you don't want to uh, hit preset channels and you've got stations hit on there if you hit the track button or channel up and down it'll cycle through your presets if you have it on manual then it'll actually go through all the radio stations uh let's see was that it yeah back to best, best station memory all right uh the next function we have on here is audio we got uh, fader uh balance eq setting loudness off Subwoofer, normal or reverse, subwoofer controls, bass boost, high pass filter settings, and back to the fader. So the fader, uh, we actually know what the fader is from front to back, uh, balance we know is left and right. Uh, EQ setting, if you go into here, we got powerful, natural, vocal, these are these are uh, preset EQ settings that are automatically programmed the radio when you buy it. Uh, custom 1 and Custom 2, uh, those are your settings. Let's see if you want to go into Custom 1. Uh, 80 Hertz, this is for the for the bass. Uh, mids, mid highs, tweeter, and treble. You know, kind of uh, like a five, five band equalizer. So, if you're not sure how to, how to work it, uh, this is the, the bass, or the first band. Uh, 80 Hertz, you can adjust, uh, let's see, positive 6 to negative 6. So, I usually like to put this on 2 for starters and adjust it afterwards. Uh, the next is not bass, but it's like mid bass. Uh, you can adjust it, usually I put it like on 1 or so. 
Uh, the next is 800 hertz. This is your mids. Uh, usually I put around three. Like I said, this is just to start off with, and I adjust it as I go. Um, mid highs is like in between but mids and treble. Uh, that's what this is, and I just put around two or three or so, it depends. And then 8 kilohertz is your treble. Now, I like to start off with it cranked up, but a lot of times if there's just too much treble, it sounds terrible. But anyway, that's, that's those functions. Uh, let's see the next one. Oh, custom 2. Uh, you can actually have a second set of EQ uh, set up. Uh, so you, you can have, you know, different set because every song sounds differently with different EQ settings. So you can have two different uh, EQ settings to, uh, to choose from. I'm going to back out of that, out of EQ setting. The next is loudness off. Uh, loud it just makes all the sound come out of your speakers a lot louder. Uh, so we get off, low, oops, off, low, uh, mid, and high. So really, usually really pronounced highs and, and bass, or mid bass, if, if you don't have subwoofers on here. Um, uh, next is uh, so we'll uh, loudness, subwoofer, uh, reverse is normal or off. Usually just leave it on normal. Uh, subwoofer control. Uh, you can set the hertz coming out of the, out of the RCAs for your for the bass. Uh, if you use a sealed box, uh, you will start off on 80 hertz, and when you get in the car and start playing with it, you can adjust it up and down. But 80 hertz is usually a good starting point, and it goes all the way down to so what is it, 50 hertz all the way up to 200. So anyway, start off with that. This is the uh, gain on it, kind of use a little more harder hit to it, you know, depending on how it's set. And this is your internal DB settings. All right, let's see. The next is bass boost. It's usually a harder hit to the bass. It's kind of like, like a loud button, but, um, but just for the bass. Uh, looks like positive six. That's it. Zero. Uh, the next is high passer, high, uh, <laughs> high passer, high pass filter settings. Uh, usually it's off, which is like like like, like through, or you, know, you can actually change how you want your high pass filter to be working. So if you don't have any amps or anything, or on something easy settings, and you just just kind of skip the uh, HPF settings altogether because it's, it's, it's set for most sound coming out. And let's go back to fader. So we want to back out of that. The, the next menu option is illumination. Uh, dim settings. We got manual. Let's see, manual. Alright, so where are we at? Oh, yeah, illumination. The dim settings, manual, uh, sync clock. Uh, brightness. This is where your 10 levels of brightness come in, so you can actually kind of kind of dial in. If, it, if it's uh, too bright at night, you can dial in at a certain brightness. It looks like it goes from, from 1 to 10, where 10 being the brightest. Uh, the next is dim setting, which we were just there. So that's everything for illumination. Uh, the next is system. We get Android wired. Um, this is the USB auto on I was telling you about that we will automatically select when it's going to be charged or play music. Uh, clock set. Uh, that's where if you want to change the clock from 12 hour, 24 hour, or actually change the date and time. Uh, auxiliary on. If you want to turn this off or on for whatever reason, you have the function in the radio. Android wired, you got memory, app control, um, let's see, app control, I'm trying to see what's on here in memory. Alright, so that's for pretty much pretty much it there. It's a really nice radio for all your basic needs, CD player, radio, aux input, USB for both Android or iPhone, and uh, you also have AOA controls for Android and app mode for compatible apps. Uh, this radio 
has it. Like I said, it's really nice. It looks sleek. That's nice. I like where the buttons are nice in one area instead of all around the volume button. Anyway, that's pretty much for this radio. Alright, that was the Pioneer DEH-X2800 UI. Like I said, it's new for 2016. Uh, brand new radio. They just now come out with these. Uh, like I said, it's going to probably be around ninety nine ninety five. have a one-year warranty, and, uh, and, and it's a good starter radio for people just getting started or just need just, just a basic radio. Anyway, if you have any questions down below, just hit some comments down there. Maybe slide over to the like button, hit like, and, and uh, this is Paul. I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have an awesome day, and please subscribe.